they want information in the manner that is easy for them to understand. Mm -hmm. And also in a very competitive environment, information that is being used is becoming sometimes very minute and detailed. Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. now if you get some information, they want to know more and more more about the information and they want to know how the information interact with other information mm -hmm. yeah so the need for information is much much more now and that's where i can see it brings a lot of opportunities for uh, those in accounting and auditing because the uh, those in accounting and auditing throughout those years of learning they're very very comfortable with numbers mm -hmm. and very very comfortable handling loads of information mm -hmm. so because of that you just need to move a few steps more to be able to interpret and communicate it well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you need to have that confidence level to, to communicate yeah. very clearly isn't it yes so uh, in any organization, the ecosystem comprises of uh, those at the top, probably mm -hmm. in a company, the directors, mm -hmm. and then there's the top management. And of course, then uh, top management come from various divisions mm -hmm. or departments. And of course, uh, you have internal auditor mm -hmm. uh, and you have external auditor. Mm -hmm. So these are what we call uh, four pillars of a very good governance, yes. yeah, corporate governance. And why they are all important because each of those parties, they have their own role. Mm -hmm. and, and together combined, they actually fit the puzzle. Mm -hmm. So if any of those pillars is not working, mm -hmm. that means uh, there is a gap. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and this is where I think integrity and accountability has to be embedded in everyone in the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And most importantly as well, uh, being in a accountancy profession, where accountancy profession is actually founded upon the the, the uh, you know the principle of trust, you need to be really, I think, bringing uh, or upholding integrity, accountability and trust. Mm -hmm. uh, because when people look at numbers and the numbers are actually churned out by accountants, uh, then that's where people trust the numbers. Mm -hmm. okay, for example, if you want to have uh, your uh, probably uh, your dental uh, check, you would like that dental checkup to be done by a dentist mm -hmm. um, because you trust a dentist. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you wouldn't want to have the de dental checkup to be done by a doctor, a, ma a medical doctor, mm -hmm. because even though they're a medical doctor, they're not a dentist. Mm -hmm. So the specialist area is different. So that's when trust is very important. Mm -hmm. So this is where, you know, anything about numbers, generally people be more comfortable those numbers to be handled by accountants, accountants. because of the trust on accountants. Mm -hmm. So this is where I think accountants must uphold the trust at all times. And if there is any uh, circumstances where that trust is to be affected, this is where accountant is facing dilemma. Mm -hmm. But accountants working in the whole ecosystem, sometimes they do have uh, direction, say, from the directors. Mm -hmm. But that is where uh, M MIE has a code of ethics and by law mm -hmm. and MIE code of ethics uh, is actually you know benchmark to the global code of ethics uh, that was issued by the International uh, Accounting Ethics Standard Board mm -hmm. uh, IESC -E and that is where uh, in order to uphold uh, that members do follow code of ethics we also have another mechanism where we call surveillance and enforcement. Mm -hmm which means, in a very simple word, if there is any accountant mm -hmm. who actually uh, <coughs> seen to be breaching the Code of Ethics, mm -hmm. we accept complaints from anyone, any of the public, uh, and then we can start our investigation process. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is something that uh, <laughs> I always speak to a lot of people. Uh, I ask them, okay, in terms of uh, think about uh, all
all organizations in a country, for example, just take a uh, country level. Mm -hmm. You have the mosque, you have the school, mm -hmm. you have the government, you have the companies. Yeah. So any activity, business or economic activities of a company, mm -hmm. there must be someone who help you know to 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 uh, record and to interpret and the economic activity in end results. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's the same in any mosque or in any school in any country. All, all of them are involved in economic activities. Mm -hmm. And as long as there are economic activities, there would be someone or a party or a group uh, or a department that actually they have to handle uh, the preparations of the financial statements mm -hmm. and to be able to communicate you know, uh, the dollar and cents. Mm -hmm. uh, that is where, uh, if you look at Malaysia becoming the high income nation mm -hmm. and with more and more economic activities happening mm -hmm. uh, you know even uh, in the ASEAN and global so who are actually keeping all those numbers mm -hmm. and interpreting all those business results mm -hmm. and that's where accountants play a role so and that, that yeah. is where students fit in yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's where if they think along that line, they'll be able to find the answers themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, I am actually, we would like to encourage uh, more and more young people, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to come into the profession. And we can see that the profession uh, has a huge opportunity to play the role in the nation. And in fact, uh, we are also advocating uh, financial uh, literacy and in, to enhance financial literacy in Malaysia uh, because, you know, when you have accounting as a knowledge, uh, if so wish one day that you probably wish to do something else, uh, the knowledge is still very valuable to you. But of course, all accounting students, we hope that they will uh, enter the profession and continue, you know, to work in accounting uh, uh, line, and then become MIE member. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we also, I also would like to advise that they need to have the mindset of continuous learning, mm 